So as you guys see from the title, basically today's episode or today's vlog is going to be a Halloween edition trip to the thrift. Now Halloween's coming up, it's about a, a half a month away or so, give it about like two and a half weeks or so, and I figured, you know what, tons of people are trying to figure out what they want to do for Halloween, what they want to be for Halloween, and I'm kind of going to show you guys that you don't have to go to these like party cities and like these other places that spend hundreds of dollars on costumes. You can literally go to Goodwill, you can go to thrift stores, get one decorations as well as costumes for yourself. So basically today I'm just going to kind of bring you to the thrift store, show you the decorations that you can have to, you know, bring around your house, how what the heck cost, how much they are, as well as for costumes. I'm not going to just be looking for costume for myself. I'm going to kind of show you everything because this is kind of for you guys, not for me. Um, for Halloween this year, I think we decided I'm going to be like a reggaeton artist, um, which is kind of funny because I don't really speak Spanish. Uh, I know a few things I can understand it, but as far as being like fluent, there's no way. And the fact that like me being a reggaeton artist, I can't even like sing in Spanish, so it's kind of funny. But I'm going to kind of like mix like Bad Bunny, uh, Maluma, J Balvin, like all of them style. I love their style, by the way. It's like super loud and out there. I'm going to kind of mix all of them, and that's going to be kind of my costume. And then my friend that I'm going with, she's going to be like the model slash actress slash whatever you want to be. She's going to be like my little sidekick. So we figured that would be kind of a cool outfit. So I am going to be kind of looking for like the dressy, buttoned up, uh, like really flashy t-shirts or shirts, I should say. But as far as like an actual costume, costume, I'm not going to be doing that this year. But like I said, we're going to head to Goodwill. I'll first show you guys maybe the accessories so you can decorate your house, how much they are. And then we'll look at the costumes. I'll show you guys literally from like kids because I'm sure there's a lot of parents that watch it and you know, hey, let's go to Goodwill and you can get your son a costume for $10 or $15. Also, I know I have the hiccups, it's super bad. Um, also, one thing is, is sometimes they usually put vintage in the Halloween stuff because they look at it and they're like, oh, this is old, this would be kind of cool for Halloween. So I have found a few nice vintage items uh, inside the Halloween rack. And like I went through the whole entire Goodwill, didn't find anything. And I was like, oh, let me go to the Halloween rack and then I find something amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, a little mix it up, you know, just not a regular trip to the thrift. Let's get it, guys. Well, a little change of plans. I woke up and my truck had, um, a tire low like I the other day about four days ago I went to go hang out with my friend and like literally when I got off 95 I got the alert that my tire was like low and I was freaking out I was like oh man I got a nail in my tire I'm about to pull over on the highway and do it and she's like no 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 just go to the gas station and 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 fill it it's exactly what I did I filled it and it lasted like it seemed like everything was good now about four days later I woke up ready to hit the thrift I jump in the car and it says low tire pressure I look and it's not like the tire is completely dead flat but it was pretty significant I think the regular tires are supposed to be at like 39 38 psi and that one was at like 16 so it's basically half and I was like oh probably a kid came and let by let the air out of my tire and I took it to the tire place which I didn't record and um, they're like oh yeah there's a small leak I said okay cool well I have a pet boys gift card luckily and I'm gonna go there and get it patched up I already called them they're like yeah no problem we'll patch it up you'll be on your way so before we hit the thrift store I do got to go get the tire fixed uh, sadly but eventually we will make it to the thrift store which I probably couldn't even say anything I probably could have just jump cut it to it but I don't know. This is a vlog. I tell you guys everything, right? So I am headed to Pet Boys now. Get the tire patched. Let's hope they do a good job and it doesn't take too long. Four hours later, finally leaving from Pet Boys. Let's see if the tire pressure is actually good. Oh, man, if I knew this was going to take all day, I would have done something else. Oh, nine miles. Got to get gas. All right, let's see. Yep, all right, seems like they're all good. Now, let's hit up Goodwill. Finally made it. You can see to start, they have these little accessories to hang on your door, four bucks, two bucks, 250. And then a little accessories like surgeon, doctor, little things. What is this, this is three bucks. Some cat ears. Two dollars, a dollar. It seems like everything is under three dollars. Uh, okay, this is nine dollars, like a flashing toy, like a lightsaber. And then this is their Halloween section from there to there. You can see they have a bunch of dresses, big costumes, small costumes, 
literally like so many because you got to think like every year people donate their old costumes because the kids never want to be the same thing delicious kind of oh look at this uniqlo disney that's kind of cool so this is what i mean like sometimes they put like streetwear or vintage inside of uh inside the halloween section just because you can kind of wear it for everything they literally have everything and the thing is that genres are mixed in too so like men's mixed with women's mixed with kids so it makes it a little bit difficult because you definitely have to go through everything but as you see there's just so many like actual full costumes like this frankenstein is only ten dollars which this probably at spirit is 35 so you're saving 25 bucks but i'm gonna go around and i'm gonna see what i can find for myself and kind of just cool costumes that I think you guys would appreciate too. Oh look, this reminds me of the, oh, what's that brand called? Oh, I totally forgot. Let's see what we can find though. This isn't really even, I mean, I guess it is kind of like Halloween style, but I really like these camo pants. They're 32, it has like orange accents. Not bad. One thing I've noticed is that there's a lot of women's stuff, so women's will definitely have no problem getting stuff. Men, it seems like it's kind of like mixed in here and there. Like sometimes they have t-shirts, but sometimes it's nothing at all. I could be in the wrong section though, like there's, so there's that row, there's this row, this row, this row, and this row, so there's a lot to go through. And this is just the first Goodwill, like mainly every Goodwill is, is similar to this, so figure if you hit a few, you'll definitely find some good stuff, I feel like, for sure. Last time I was here, I found that North Face jacket, and that was like a $100 jacket just sitting in the in the Halloween section. All right, we didn't find anything there. Let's try this rack, which this rack kind of looks like kid stuff, a little bit smaller. It's kind of cool though, like a little fur, like teddy bear. What's this? Like a pirate, $10 for adult. Five, six, four. I'm trying to see what the retail price on this. It was probably like 30, 40 bucks also though. Let's see, let's see some jerseys. What's this? little witch I think this is only five bucks like an Air Force woman's like skirt five bucks oh look affliction shirt that's actually kind of cool though how it has the stitching on and everything this is four dollars for an affliction shirt I actually really like this just because like the stitching goes all the way down it's a pretty unique shirt I don't really care for affliction and it's kind of small but but this is what I mean like they kind of just hid this in the Halloween section what is this beyond the light cowboy shirt ten dollars so it seems like the actual costumes like this are about ten dollars which again isn't bad at all because you're gonna spend at least thirty dollars if you go to a normal one this really reminds me of the Louis Vuitton um, Wizard of Oz if you guys saw that collection this kind of reminds me of it Let's see a leather jacket for women's um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Like I said, there's a good amount of women's stuff, which I guess makes sense because women are more likely to dress up more than men. Men kind of just throw something together, and then women kind of go all out, which is understandable. Let's see, nothing good here. Ed Hardy shirt. This is kind of cool. Just this, a jersey, all-stars. It's this, it's like a faded black shirt, uh, Forever 21. Man, I'm not finding anything good for myself, but this is more to show you guys what they have, not thrifting for myself. Let's see what the super crazy dress is. You can almost get like your prom dress here too. What is this, an Iron Man outfit? Seems like this might be the kids section because I'm seeing a lot of kids outfits. But like I said, they kind of mix everything in so it's really hard to really uh, see also. It's this Volcom Mod Tech. It seems like this is like a nylon. Like you can't put a hole in it. What's this? A jersey. Oh look, Tupac. Tupac 000. This is, what brand is this? Tupac from 2014. See what else is sitting here. Some more costumes. Oh wow, look at this. This is insane. This reminds me of like Ralph Lauren. 
and then a table full of accessories to kind of add with the costumes like this is a gorilla foot uh, you have some ears you have a witch hat you have a Darth Vader mask you have like a little clown wig just so many sisters a yoga mat which a yoga mat's kind of useful I've been low-key doing yoga five bucks it's not bad Let's see there's just tons and tons of stuff oh Barbie doll I wonder what year it's from 1966 I don't know if it's actually from 1966 or not but it might be worth something actually So I just made it back from the Goodwill, from the Halloween shopping, and unfortunately I didn't find anything for myself, but I didn't really have the intention of going to buy something for myself. Like I said, I kind of just wanted to show you guys and show you know, YouTube that if you guys want Halloween costumes, you really don't have to go see, to these expensive stores. You could just go to a thrift store and have decorations or have costumes. So if you guys are looking for a Halloween costume, you're on a budget, I would definitely recommend hitting up your local thrift store to see what they have. You know, don't go and spend the $50 because at the end of the day, you're only going to wear it for one night. So if you're going to spend $10, spend the $10, you wear the costume and then redonate it or save it for next year. So that's the reason why um, there's probably so many in the thrift stores because people only wear them one time of a year and then they donate it or they get rid of it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, a little bit change up. I am posting a video tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a $20 challenge from a thrift store versus a rag house. So make sure you guys come back tomorrow for that. It will be at 8 p.m. sharp. Also, check link down below, emcvlogs.com. I did thrift about 30 new items in the past couple days. I'm uploading it today, so make sure you guys check it out. The price is going to be very, very reasonable. I'm in the process of like kind of just putting stuff for low prices to kind of move stuff versus having stuff a little bit higher and just sitting on my website. I kind of look up to Paul Can too because every time he posts something, he sells it out instantly. And his prices are always very, very good. So I think that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start pricing stuff very, very cheap. Um, but also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at DITR954. I always post the stuff there before it goes on my website so they get kind of first dibs. So I will see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. <music>